right, today's lesson is to interpreting a fraction as division. What is a numerical expression? Well, a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase, like a sentence, that has numbers and operation signs but does not have an equal sign. So if I wrote out this numerical expression, 38 times 5 plus 4. <clears throat> this would be considered an expression because it has numbers, obviously. It has operational symbols, our plus and our multiplication, but it does not have an equal sign. When it doesn't have an equal sign, that usually means that you don't have to solve it. You're just looking at the expression. All right, so look through this list I have here and figure out which of the following is an example of an expression. Take a quick minute to just look over these four different sentences. All right, so remember, to be qualified as an expression, it needs to have numbers, operational symbols, and no equal sign. So, already right off the bat, I can cross this one out because it has an equal sign. And I can cross this one out because it doesn't have any operational symbols like multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. That's not a subtraction symbol. That's a subtraction symbol. All right, so I have 2 times 7. Well, that has numbers and an operational symbol, so this is an expression. 8 times 3 times 5 in parentheses. This one is also an expression. Alright, so now that you know what an expression is, let's practice writing an expression. And we have done this already in the year, so this should be pretty easy to you. Alright, so it says, Emma has 11 fish in her aquarium. She buys 4 more fish. Write an expression to show that how many fish Emma has. So take a second just to write this expression down and what you think it would look like in your notebook. All right, this one's pretty simple. So Emma has 11 fish and she buys four more fish, which means that she's adding to her fish collection. <coughs> so she buys four more. All I would have to write for this expression is 11 plus 4. And remember, I am not putting an equal sign because expressions do not have equal signs. All right, this is an expression one. I mean, I'm sorry, this is a subtraction expression. Lucia has 128 stamps. She uses 38 stamps on party invitations. Show an expression that shows how many stamps Lucia has. So take a quick minute to write this expression. Shouldn't take that long. I'll count down 10 seconds in my head. All right. Lucia has 128 stamps. She uses 38, which means she's subtracting 38 and no equal sign. Okay, this is a multiplication expression, all right? Carla buys five books. Each book costs $3. So we know that if she buys five books and each of them are $3, we would have to multiply by three. All right, so now we have a division problem here. We have four players who are sharing 52 cards equally. So kind of think about when you sit down and play cards with your friends and you have a deck of 52 cards and you want to split them equally between all your friends. Now, traditionally, if I told you to write this expression, we know that the division operational symbol looks like this. Well, what we want you to understand now is that fractions are division. And we can represent division by using a fraction. So one way that I could write this expression 
would be that I could write 52 divided by 4. That would be, in, that would be correct. But looking at it like a fraction, if I said what fraction of the cards would each player get, I know that if I have 52 cards and I want to divide them amongst four players, I would write it like this. 52 over 4. So this fraction bar right here means that I need to divide. And so my denominator is how many groups I will be dividing into. And then my numerator is how many items I have to split up. So it actually kind of makes sense because normally we say that the denominator is how many parts in the whole we have and the numerator is how many pieces of those parts we actually have. So if I'm telling you that I have four groups here and I need to divide them up between 52 people, 52 divided by 4 will give me how many cards each player will get. All right, let's practice with another one. All right, so let's take another division problem, and we're going to express this sentence here as a fraction. So it says, five friends are sharing two chocolate bars to make s'mores. So remember, we said when you're representing a division problem as a fraction, your numerator is going to be how many items you have to split, and your denominator is going to be how many times you're splitting it apart. So if I'm looking at the sentence right here, try to think about what am I trying to split up? Well, I'm trying to split up the two chocolate bars. And then my denominator is how many times I'm going to split it up or how many groups I need to split it into. Well, if five friends are sharing those two chocolate bars, then I need to split it up amongst five friends. So if I'm looking at this sentence here, five friends are sharing two chocolate bars to make s'mores, the expression as a fraction would be two divided by five. And it actually kind of makes sense because if you're saying that how many pieces will each friend get? Well, they'll get two-fifths of a chocolate bar. All right, friends, it is now time to show what you know. Go to the quiz on Canvas and um, make sure that you take that. Take your time on it and use your notes if you need to. All right, have a great day.